Hi, y'all. Welcome to my channel, Cooking with Freddie. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today, we will be making vegetable rice with coconut milk. Let's go ahead and get started. Here I have one tomato and one onion, and I'm going to go ahead and use half of both of them. All right, chop them up into small pieces like you see I have. Then we're going to go ahead and put a pot on the stove at medium heat, a six or a five, and wait till it get hot and put one fourth cup of oil. When that oil get hot, we're going to go ahead and add the tomatoes and the onion we just diced up and we're gonna go ahead and marry them then we're gonna add our ear piece we're gonna add a half a cup of ear piece if you don't know how to make ear piece I will have the link in the description box on a video that shows you how to make ear piece all right now we're just gonna go ahead and mix everything and make them become one as a unit baby yes just like you see I'm doing when it gets to cooking like that and bubbling we're gonna add those vegetables we're gonna go ahead and add a half of the bag of the peas and carrots and a half of a bag of corn if you have the ones that come together like the vegetable that come together the corn and carrot you could go ahead and add a half a bag of that but i didn't have that so i had to do it like that all right and just go ahead and mix everything together so they could become one just like you see i'm doing just like that yes all right and then we're gonna go ahead and start adding our seasoning i'm gonna add one teaspoon of adobo then I'm going to go ahead and add two cubes of Maggie. I always call this Maggie, but Maggie is actually the name of the brand. This is called Chicken Flavor Bouillon. That's what it's called. It's not called Maggie. Maggie is actually the brand, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and add two teaspoons of salt, all right? And then we're going to go ahead and mix that up together, you guys. This thing about to be flavorful. This one's about to be everything, y'all. Everything. Thing, and I mean everything <laughs> all right so right now this would be the time for you to add the coconut milk um, and let that coconut milk cook in there but I literally have forgot to put in the coconut milk you guys I forgot all about the coconut milk so I did not add it at this time but this would be the time that you add it okay before you add the water is when you would add the coconut milk now I'm going to add 48 ounces of water which is six cups of water into the pan I usually do not measure anything when making rice I just know when everything is enough you know um, but I really tried my best to um, measure everything for you guys when I was making this so that you guys can have an exact recipe because I feel like if I don't give you the measurements then it's not a recipe you're just watching me make it so I did try my best to measure everything for you guys not even put it in a measuring cup to put it in the food because I want to get an exact recipe for you guys okay so i went ahead and added six cups of water and i just mixed it very well so that everything could combine then i'm gonna go ahead and add some parsley i usually add parsley and thyme tied up together but i was all out of thyme so i only put the parsley but i would recommend adding the parsley and thyme tied up together when the water got to boiling like this i went ahead and added the coconut milk i couldn't add it when the water wasn't boiling yet because it wouldn't be right so i had to wait for the water to boil for me to add it because i missed when i was supposed to put it because i had forgot this is the kind of rice that i use which is the royals chef secret and i'm gonna go ahead and put four cups of rice into there so it can satisfy the amount of water that i have all right then i'm gonna go ahead and wash my rice thoroughly because baby we ain't trying to get sick we're gonna wash that rice we're gonna sanitize that rice all right and um i actually washed the rice three times um before i put it into into the um the water okay so i did wash it three times all right so now i'm just gonna drain it from washing it and then it's ready for me to um put it inside of the um the boiling water all right so now that my water is boiling what i'm going to do is taste it because your rice is going to taste like your water so if your rice is nasty your rice is going to be nasty all right because the rice is going to taste just like the water i'm trying to tell you so after tasting it i felt like it was good that thing was delicious child so i went ahead and started to add my rice when adding the rice basically what we're going to do is keep putting the rice in the same spot we're basically going to make like a mountain and we want 
want the amount of rice that we have to surpass the water. We want the rice to be sitting on top of the water because we're putting it in the same spot. If you put the rice in the same spot and it does not surpass the water, it's not sitting on top of the water like you see mine, then that means you do not have enough rice to satisfy the amount of water you have and you will have a pasty rice. It will be mushy. When it's like that, you know that it will... Um, it's enough. It will satisfy because you see how it was at the top. All right. And then we're going to do another test to make sure that the rice is not going to be mushy. You're going to take a spoon, not this big spoon. I wanted to show you guys if it's a spoon that the whole water can't cover up, then it's too big. It's not going to work. It has to be a spoon that can cover up, um, that the water can cover up um, the whole spoon. You know, if I had more food, then I would have been able to use that bigger spoon. But since I'm not making that much, I have to use a smaller spoon. And you see how I stuck that spoon in there and the spoon is straight and it sticks up by itself and it don't fall. That means that the amount of rice that I have satisfies the amount of water that I have. And the rice will not be pasty. If the spoon falls and will not stay still by itself like that, then that means you have too much water and you need to add more rice. All right. And um, we're going to just go ahead and mix this all together now because we know that we have enough and everything is going to be good. All right. The downside about that technique is it will let you know if you have too much water and not enough rice, but it will not let you know if you have too much rice and not enough water, meaning that your rice can come out raw because um, you don't have enough water to cook it. All right. But for the most part, it's a good technique for you not to have mushy rice. Now I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to add one teaspoon of pepper, black pepper pepper and we're just gonna go ahead and stir that bad boy together and let everything combine so it could become one as a unit child yes all right and we're just gonna go ahead and mix that like i said mix it we're just trying to get that butter to melt completely let it dissolve right, so we could go into that rice and give that rice some of that good yummy flavor buttery flavor yes all right and then when the rice gets to looking like this you see how there's still water in the rice though don't let it dry up there's still water in the rice and then we're gonna go ahead and put your rice from medium heat to low heat you're gonna put it at a three or a two and we're going to cover it with aluminum foil and we're going to put the lid on it and let it cook for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, that rice is done. Be careful when un um, uncovering it because you can get burned by the heat. All right. It happened to me before. So I'm just trying to warn you so you don't get hurt like I did. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and just mix it up and whoo, baby. Yes, that rice is done. Yes. Y'all see that? And there we have it, coconut vegetable rice. It don't get no better than that. Yes, yes. Side note, do you guys see a face or is it just me? You don't see the two little eyes in the mouth? <laughs> Comment if you see it.